me here as promised with the, an apartment tour. So let's get to it. <laughs> hey guys, so my apartment disclaimer is nothing special. It's just a crummy kind of two bedroom apartment. And I won't be showing you the bedrooms right now because <sighs> they're embarrassing. <laughs> they're very messy. Um, so, okay. So I okay. I think that she didn't want to show us the bedrooms, multiple, there's an S, because they maybe had already been sleeping in different rooms. Eesh. So let's start here. So this is the front door. I have a wreath that I actually have to like take down. It's from fall. A um, whole bunch of shoes, a granny cart with uh, some rice. <laughs> And this is where my cat poops. It's pretty clean right now. Try to keep it clean. <laughs> um, I will say that is the cleanest litter box I've ever seen in Chantal's possession. However, she did know she was filming this video. She might have gone and scooped some of it because there was still definitely some shit in there. This is my fridge and I have like a an organizational pad thing, but you can see it's from March. So that tells you exactly how much I organize my life. Not at all. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is my kitchen, microwave, um, some dishes I just did. <laughs> my, my apartment door was so boring. Rice cooker, uh, counter. Um, maybe I'll show you my, I have to clean up my fridge so don't judge me. <laughs> As you can see, a whole bunch of eggs, um, milk. Parm cheese. I think that guacamole needs to be thrown out. Uh, asparagus. Some Slim Fast from like two years ago. <laughs> I don't know if that's a watermelon or a squash, but take a guess. Oh my God, that's disgusting. How do you not know? I don't know if that's a watermelon or a squash. Ugh, how long has it been in there? Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> it's either a very nice looking um, squash or like the, uh, a very, very dehydrated watermelon. So some random items here. I just shove like everything. These are like homemade um, marshmallows with coconut. <laughs> They're really good. <laughs> and uh, okay, so this picture... I have to put up the other panel. It's uh, it's down right now. I'm missing the uh, the nail, so I got to do that. But I got this um, online at Walmart. It's like an African mural type of thing. And this is my table. Yes, my computer chair is there. You'll see why. It's, um, I don't use it. <laughs> oh my God, look at the state of the computer chair. It looks brand new. That was the rolling chair in her kitchen. At the villa, you know? <laughs> Look at it. It looks so new. Oh. Why would you film with the decor half finished? <laughs> Chantal, listen. <laughs> this is still, I don't know, way better than present day Chantal could do. Look at all the things she owned is what I keep thinking. Her who's now talking about setting up an apartment at 40 years old and having absolutely nothing. Going like thrifting and dumpster diving to look for things to fill a home with. Look, she had a home full of stuff, man. Uh, I don't know. I find my other thing I'm using more comfortable. And I'm using my Scentsy burner right now. And yeah. And I just shoved some random crap here too on the window. Um, there's some condensation on the window. But uh, <laughs> the windows are not great quality. I have my juicer. Some random Pier 1 items here. And uh, yeah. I have this painting I've had forever. I don't know. And here's my balcony. <laughs> Uh, that does make a lot of sense that it was all literally all BB stuff. She did leave and take like barely anything. She was tried to play martyr. Like I'm going to leave him all the furniture. First of all, everything had become a horrible state. The furniture, the cats had scratched up the couches and uh, just Chantal, you know, she's real hard on things. Everything was like gross. I'm going to leave him all the furniture. It was his. You're right. So, yeah let my cat out here sometimes <laughs> and just uh there's the other panel for the mural some weights i need to use <laughs> um look 
get a little plant, speaker, light. Oh. <laughs> yes, Dell, I do. Uh, 2017 Chantal would be mortified at 2024 Chantal. I don't think she would believe what has become of 2024 Chantal. On the lamp, some speakers, my bookshelf with some random stuff, giraffe, this painting of the opera. I actually really love my grandmother gave that to me. I love opera, opera music, everything opera. So. Wow, we've never heard you mention opera ever. And your grandma gave it to you. That's why you just left it there when you left. <laughs> so meaningful. Opera. <sighs> Nothing too special, I guess. Just some books. Um, my little cat painting I love so much. And uh, so this is where my cat sleeps. And there's my cat now. See, I like sitting on the ottoman. It's, well, I have a large butt too, but <clears throat> on my computer, it's just really comfortable, you know? I don't know. I'll what the fuck is this? Man, the computer is really losing the will to live quickly today. <clears throat> and my computer. It's just really comfortable, you know? I don't know. Obviously more comfortable than that computer chair. Uh, my The Kiss Painting by Gustav Klimt. Not an original, obviously. And my sectional sofa. Some crap in the corner that my boyfriend <laughs> uses. And um, yeah. Some movies here. Video games. Another Sensi Burner. My TV which is not really on right now. <laughs> well, the TV is, but... It's just, it's just such a normal place to live. You know what I mean? There's not piles of, like, shit everywhere, and... Ah, oh, it's it's so normal. Oh, she has not been this normal since this time. And it's because BB took care of everything. And BB cleaned the house, and BB kept things organized, but... Goddamn, Chantal... It must hurt her to, like watch this back now holy crap look at that house look at that house. like it's it's just so normal xbox one and my giraffes <laughs> okay so this is brenda and this is hazel and for some reason people just like giving us giraffes like um i have this other small one up here as you can see but and the reason is, I don't know. I just, I guess somebody saw that we have one giraffe. So they're like, hey, that girl likes giraffes. Let's give her more giraffes. So this is my seven foot tall Brenda. <laughs> and this painting here, this is a um, collector's plate. My grandma framed when I was little. She said this little jungle book guy looked like me when I was a kid, <laughs> even though it's a male. But you know. Interesting. Isn't the kid in the jungle book kind of feral being raised by animals because his family wouldn't raise him? So what your grandmother was saying was that you're feral like the kid from the Jungle Book. No home training. You know, um, and it's the Jungle Book. I really like it, so I thought I'd put it up. And, hey, stop licking your your ass and say hi to people. That's my cat's box. Uh, I have to keep it there now because she won't do without. And oh, you know, it's fucked. This is seven years ago and she's already bald in the head which means the filthy years, seven fucking years ago, over seven years ago. Oh no, just about seven years ago, okay. And it's my computer. Oh yeah, and the mats are already horrible. These are my Fallout collectibles. Yay, vault boy. Okay, so these are the two bedrooms BB is sleeping right now, so don't really wanna go in there. You'd be really mad at me. And this is a spare room, and it's really messy right now. I have to organize it. I'll give you a sneak peek, though. Ah! Oh, my God. Okay, bye. <laughs> and my bathroom, which is also a mess. I have to put this lamp here because um, the, uh, the tile is very 60s. Oh, my God, underwear. Those are babies. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ignore that because the light needs to be changed. The fan is going off, but um, the person from the building has to change it. Uh, we can't do it ourselves. I'm just going to squeeze in here. What? 
What do you mean you can't do it yourselves? You can't find the bulb that you need and change the bulb? You have a random lamp pulled into your bathroom because you're unwilling to change the bulb? <laughs> yeah, it did sound like the murder party game scream, eh? Hmm. Hi. Hi. Another African wood thing <laughs> my aunt got me. And just some random crap here. Some random lush stuff. A yogurt container. And <laughs> it's empty. And um, I have some bath bombs here. Love bath bombs. Yes, yes. My shower curtains. Some more paintings. Um, my sister got me these little things here one year, I think for Christmas. And I really like them. They're cute. So just chilling with Brenda here. That's my apartment tour. Nothing special, like I said. But it's cozy. It's our little place. And yeah. Hello. <laughs> hey, foodie beauties. Okay, I know this is pizza pizza again. I think I have two pizza pizza mukbangs already. And you know what? I'm, I was just, I'm not gonna make any excuses. I was just fucking craving pizza, okay. Pizza pizza is always like, it's like the cheapest possible pizza. They always had like a deal. You get to two pizzas. It was super fucking cheap. So she loved pizza pizza. Yeah, I know. Um, I have an addiction to pizza, it's sad. Um, how are you guys? I hope you okay. So <laughs> I hope you like my apartment into uh, apartment tour. It's yeah, it's nothing special, but some have requested it. So stop shitting on it. My God, how many times can you say how oh, it's nothing special? It sucks. It's just a girl. Look at the way you live right now. You don't even have a place. Look at the way you lived in Kuwait. Disgusting. This. You should be so happy to have lived like this. You should pine for these days now. Imagine if she had this place like set up like this, all this furniture and da da, -da. It would be filthy because baby's not there to keep you clean. You are such a schmuck. You didn't know what you had until it's gone. Ugh. You know, I thought I'd share. So uh, today I want to talk about uh, my horrible roommate while I dip this in ranch and give you the first bite. Creamy cold ranch. <laughs> mm. Oh, the jaw clicking. Four cheese blend, New York style pepperoni, sweet garlic and pepper seasoning, and mushroom on thin crust. I was watching um a documentary about a girl who's a fetishist. So she does really weird fetishes. Mm. And one of them is fart porn. <laughs> if you bite, if every bite has to be dipped in ranch, did you really want to eat a pizza or did you just want to eat some ranch? Because couldn't you just get fucking ranch and like squirt it into your mouth and save hella calories? I had to share this with somebody, so anyway. To make herself fart, you know what she does? Doesn't he talk about? I want the garlic dip. She doesn't get anyone to pull her finger. I have cream of garlic and cheddar jalapeno. I have some cheddar. She, to make herself, you know, on command, she's lactose intolerant. So she drinks a lot of milk and then bends over, lets it rip. And then talks dirty about it. Anyway, to each his own. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Was this her actually watching a documentary about this? Or is she describing what she did at that time for Karate Joe? Uh-huh. <laughs> I feel like this might be her telling on herself. <laughs> I'm not judging anybody. <laughs> I just didn't know that it existed. Sorry, my mouth was full. Okay. Oh, you didn't know it existed? Wait until you meet Scatman. <laughs> my horrible roommate. I'm going to admit right now that I was kind of mean to this guy. But because he was annoying and gross. Barks root beer. Remember those commercials back in like the 90s? Bark's got bite. 
that weird looking guy. I'm so mean. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the way he did his faces were strange. So <clears throat> he um oh I don't miss that either. <laughs> That goes along with the weed always in her life. It's like smoking in general. Ah! My first apartment on my own it was two bedroom. It was the shittiest apartment I've ever lived in. Didn't even have windows. The, the slumlord put plexiglass and tape. Sounds like Cornwall to me. So, I was working at a call center, and <clears throat> I knew this guy through a friend. And we sort of became friends, but he sort of always got on my nerves. Well, try living with him. Huh. I wanted a roommate to share expenses. You know, I had a two bedroom. And. So you worked with somebody or whatever that you didn't like. And you decided, you know what? That would make a good roommate. And then you were surprised when it didn't work out because you didn't like them. Well done, court brain. I mean, it wasn't super expensive or anything because it was such a dump. The guy was just, the landlord was just glad that someone lived there. Anyway. And he was really, this guy was really down on his luck, so I let him live there. Move in with me. Oh, my God. Hmm. From the day he moved in, this guy would not leave me alone, like, always try to have sex with me. Is this Pete's? I feel like she's talking about Pete's, but changing the story just enough where it actually, she's pretending like it's another person. It was Pete's. <laughs> when did you live with a rando? This is bullshit. Bullshit. She moved in with Pete's. Pete's was on her, her nerves. She fucking, she's, I think she's always sort of hated Pete's. You know how like during crack at Olympics and stuff and you could see it all over her face. So she just, she hated his guts. She didn't want to be in the same room as him. I think it's sort of always been like that. And I think she's telling us a story about Pete's right now. And he was like, not aggressive, but he was pushy about it. And he would get this look in his eye, like all like, I don't know how to do it, but it was like a weird look. And I knew he was going to try. It came to the point where I was so repulsed by him. I would stay at my mom's, like, most of the time. I wouldn't even be there most of the time. Um, some of the things that really pissed me off that he would do. AKA, I would be out cheating on Pete's, staying at my mom's. I think this is a story about him. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He would get so deeply on my nerves out to go stay at my mom's. She said it before she was cheating on Pete's. When he was not at work... He would blare the music. He would blare Avril Lavigne, the, her CD, like the one that had Skater Boy. He would play that over and over and over again. <laughs> I mean, my neighbors underneath me could hear, and they would be like, your roommate, your roommate really likes Avril Lavigne, doesn't he? He's driving me nuts. I know every word to every song. So that was number one. That in Evanescence, he would fall asleep to Evanescence. He couldn't sleep unless he was listening to Evanescence. I don't feel like listening. Like I can't fall asleep when there's emo goth blaring in the background. How can you see? Pixie, that is outrageous. Truly, truly, truly outrageous. You know. Anyway, that was that. He would, he would always walk around. He had this one pair of underwear, okay? They were gray. I don't know if they were gray from dirt or if they were gray that was the color. 
Fruit of the Loom underwear for men. And there was a hole at the bottom and his fucking sock would hang out. <laughs> and he would walk around in this and I'd come home and I'd be like, really? You really have to wear that? One day I was in my bedroom. This was the, the last straw for that. One day I was in my bedroom getting ready to go somewhere. I was getting ready. And he comes along in those underwear with his balls hanging out. Fadama, go for it, girl. Bless. <laughs> and decides to sit on my bed. So I had this guy's sack on my bed. Oh, God. That was it for me. I freaked out. Mm -mm. Girls, cooties are real. I know a lot of you guys don't like pizza pizza, but I kind of like it. Mm -hmm. When it's fresh. Hold on. Hold on. I need to scroll back. Agreed. <clears throat> My hair's greasy. Oh, well. <laughs> Mm. Okay, back to the story. So, probably like 10 dips. <sighs> exactly. She's like getting tarted up. She's all excited. She's going to cheat. Just like when she'd be getting tarted up, ready to go and chase Koki. And Pete's would be in the room, ball sack on the bed, hoping she wouldn't leave, trying to figure out, why, why won't you love me? <laughs> another thing he did was watch porn a lot and it was like anime porn so it was like oh, there you go that's it it's Pete's she just gave it away anime porn when she said porn I was like is she gonna say something about my little pony animes well hello Pete's we knew this story was about you I don't know if you've ever watched that but or hentai or whatever it's called Oh my god, it's annoying. It's like <laughs> the whole time. And just knowing his willy was just bare somewhere in the same apartment as me. Mm. I'm so mean. <laughs> I was mean to him. I feel bad now, kind of, but my mom would even get like annoyed at how mean I was with him because one day oh he would buy the grossest things to eat too. Kit Kats and frozen lasagnas. He used to buy lunch, like lunch meat, a pack of lunch meat, like garlic bologna. And he would open the package and leave it open in the fridge. And it would smell like garlic bologna every time I opened the fridge. My oh, and she gets so mad because she was opening the fridge to go in and get her, um, oh, what was it? Macaroni and cheese bologna. And it was in her way. Girl, you're the same fucking trash with a different flavor. Strawberries tasted like garlic bologna. Everything tasted like garlic bologna. Yeah, she was eating strawberries. And I was like, you have to buy garlic bologna. Like, this guy would eat lunch meat in his friggin' busted underwear, sitting on my sofa and shit. Like, what? What did I do to deserve you know what? It was probably his passive aggressive move back at her. Like, you're cheating on me? Well, I'm gonna sit here and watch this cartoon porno on full volume. I don't know. This in a past life. Anyways. <laughs> anyway he would he, one day i did my own groceries we did our own groceries one day i uh, came in with my mom with groceries and i had a big block of cheese it was like a massive block of cheese it was like that big <laughs> why would your enabler mother go grocery shopping with you probably pay for the groceries and buy you that kind of a block of cheese <laughs> I have like too many dips here. And he was like, comes over in those underwear. <laughs> no, he wasn't wearing those underwear. My mom was there. Maybe he was. I don't even remember. But he came over there in my space, in my safe space. And he like nudged up against me, looking over my shoulder, like at the cheese that I had on the counter. And he's like, oh, can I have a piece? <laughs> Oh my god. And I'm so mean because anyone else? I would have given you half a block, okay? Girl, stop 
up it. No, you wouldn't have. You probably growled at him when you asked for a piece. And he went, but you're my best friend. <laughs> but him? I didn't know I didn't want to give him anything. So I looked at him like with a rude, snobby bitch face. And I was like, my mom's like, Chantel, give him some. I'm like, fine, you can have a small piece. And I cut off like a small fucking one inch piece off the end. And he took it and he's like, thanks, I'll put these on my chicken nuggets later. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> Just little things, you know? And then his cat, he brought his cat with him. Timbit. I love cats. It's not the cat's fault. But it was not fixed. And it was always in heat. Like, it seemed like it was always in heat. I don't know. He was always crying with his ass in the air. Wow. It pissed you off that much when it was about Timbit. But look at the way you're doing Julia. Same thing, eh? Hmm. Look at the fucking demon face. Holy crap. Anyway. And he was a slob. Like, ugh. Like you. He would never clean. Ever. So can But neither do you, BB. You're only not living in a slob condition because BB does the cleaning. We all saw how it played out as soon as BB wasn't there. Box Mountain, all that shit all over your floors. Cat's box is not being cleaned for months. Continually yelling at this guy. And not even wanting to be in my own place. Mm -mm. <laughs> I was like, you know what? You need to take your Avril Lavigne Skater Boy CD and your one pair of Fruit of the Loom undies and your garlic bologna and get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> Man. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, you had been cheating with BB. And you decided to move in with BB. And so you decided to get the hell out of that house and move in with BB. Stop changing the story. No bueno. Hmm. <laughs> no, I think I'm full. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna go back to watching this fart fetish movie. Okay. Well, that's it for today.